Okay, I'm going to show you how to work crab stitch or backwards crochet. It's a common edging. It forms a nice little um, decorative edging, but it's a little confusing if you're looking in a book trying to figure out how to do it. So you want to attach your yarn at one edge. Um, you want to attach it at the left edge of your work. So that's important. We're going to be working in reverse. So um, work one chain stitch just to kind of secure it there. And um, then what we're going to be doing is working backwards. So we're going to go backwards with the hook and insert the hook into the fabric and grab some yarn, pull it through, you're pulling through a loop and then you're going to go around the yarn again and pull another one through and that's one crab stitch formed. And then insert the hook again, back, you're going backwards and grab some more yarn and always working in reverse so I'll do it again more slowly you're working with one hook, with one loop on the needle sorry, the hook work backwards go into the fabric grab a loop of yarn, pull it through now you have two loops on the hook see, one, two and you, some people call this yarn over and pull through and just keep working and stay consistent with how how far back you're placing that next stitch you sometimes have to play around oops, with proportion to see if you have too many or too few if it's flaring or ruffling unattractively you don't want that this is, this is meant to finish the edge in a nice neat way and I'll finish up a couple more So, you can see, nice edging. It's definitely not flat, it's um, definitely got a bit of a scallop effect.